It is a hot August afternoon in Austin, Texas. Partly cloudy with a high of 102 and 95% humidity. This does not bode well with one Jason Manning, who because of financial constraints has been sitting in the unbearable heat for over two hours. Before dropping off a roll of film, Jason stops at the local grocery, where he happens upon his one source of pleasure for the day, in the form of a shiny new apple. They say those apples keep the doctor away. That they do, Bert. That they do. Jason Manning came to this place by way of the Irish Mannings, who settled in America after escaping the Great Potato Famine of 1845. But more recently, he came to apartment 298 on Wickersham Lane because of its low rent and close proximity to his workplace. Across town, Jason's employer, Robert Fulsom, holds a weekend conference with a valued client, Miss Margot Mall. Unbeknownst to his loving wife, Jane. Years before, Margot's mother, Lorleen, had sealed her daughter's fate by shacking up with a series of ne'er-do-well boyfriends, resulting in Margot's low self-esteem and appetite for married men. Enter Exhibit A, Clyde Basco. You look just like her. Slut. Recently, Robert had denied Jason his request for a cost of living increase. Can I have a raise, please? No. Down but not out, Jason decides to pick up his newly pressed prints and is quite pleased with the results. He even keeps negative number 15, which he would normally have returned under the store's picture-perfect refund policy. But today, Jason has a feeling that money will no longer be a problem. They say you can tell a lot about a person by their picture. That they do, Bert. That they do. These new developments greatly improve Jason's outlook on the day and inspire him to look toward the future with a cool disposition.